What's up you guys, it's Adonis. I have a surprise for you. Some of you may have already seen her on my True Life, I'm a Dermatology PA um, series, and if you haven't seen her on that, go ahead right now to my playlist. My friend Savannah is going to give you guys five interview tips you should absolutely wanna hear if you're trying to get into PA school. This right here is her book. It is called Physician Assistant School Interview Guide. Now, you guys, I've looked through this book. It's really, really good. It's very interesting, and I I love the way that it's laid out. She gives you mock questions, like mock interview questions. She gives you tips on what to do after you've left the interview. She tells you what not to say and then how to rephrase things. So this is not a sponsored video. I am not by any means getting paid to endorse this book or endorse Savannah. I just noticed that she has an amazing book out there that I feel can benefit all of my subscribers and followers. And so I just wanted to make sure that you guys had the opportunity and the chance to actually get this book. If you're interested in getting her book, Savannah was gracious enough to give me a discount code for you guys where you'll get 10% off the purchase of her book. So the code is Adana the PA. And if you want to get this book, all you have to do is go and type in Adana the PA and you will be able to get your copy. 10% off. I will leave the link in the description box below for you guys. So of course, one of you lucky viewers are gonna receive a free copy of the book. So if you wanna enter into that giveaway, go on over to my Instagram page at Adana the PA. You have to be a follower of me. Um, you will see the picture with me in the book. <laughs> and you'll just, the details will be underneath that picture in the caption and you'll be able to enter it through my Instagram account. All right, without further ado, here's Savannah and be sure to stay till the end for a quick message from me. Hey guys, my name is Savannah Perry. Huge shout out to Adana for asking me to team up on a video about interviews. As we've never met before, I run a website called The PA Platform and I am the author of this book, which has just come out in the last couple months, The Physician Assistant School Interview Guide. I love talking about interviews for PA school. So a little background, I'm a dermatology PA. I graduated four years ago and ever since then, I've been helping other pre-PA students reach their goals of becoming PAs. Today, I wanna break down five tips for interviews. Now, if you get this book, there's a lot more than five tips in it. In the first couple chapters, we go over just kind of how to prepare for interviews, tips, tricks, what the admissions committee is looking for, and how to stand out at your interview. It is my firm belief, belief, <laughs> that if you get an interview, that is your ticket into PA school. So the personal statement gets you the interview, the interview gets you in. It's your one chance to really show the admissions committee what you bring to the table and why they should pick you over everybody else that's there. Let's break down some tips to help you get there. Number one, confidence. So this seems like an easy one, but I see so many times when I'm helping people practice for PA school that they just lack confidence in their answers. If you don't believe in what you're saying, the person listening to you won't either. And it comes off as kind of shady sometimes or like you don't know what you're talking about. Even if you are so nervous, which you will be, you kind of got to fake it till you make it and pretend you're confident for at least those 15 or 20 minutes of the interview. When you're practicing, that's something to keep in mind. Whoever you're practicing with, make sure that they feel like you are exuding confidence and that you are ready to become a PA student. That brings me to number two, which is getting your mindset in the right place. So your mindset going into your interview needs to be, how can I convince them that I am the best candidate for a spot in this program and that I'm gonna be a great classmate and a great colleague. So in two years, you're gonna be a PA just like the people interviewing you. And they want people that they can connect with, that they would feel confident sending their patients to as referrals and that they really can see who you are as a person. Don't try to give the right answers, the right answers, the correct answers. There's not such a thing. The reason you're at an interview is for the admissions committee to learn more about you. They wouldn't have invited you for an interview if they didn't feel like there was something in your application that stood out that made them want to know more about you. So when you're going in, just think about relating your answers to how whatever they're asking you about 
is going to impact you in their class and how you can bring something to the class. What makes you unique? What makes you different from the person sitting next to you that they may not have? Just think about it in that way and it may help you to tailor your answers a little bit more. Which brings me to number three, giving thoughtful answers. So what this means is you don't want to just give surface level, superficial, generic answers. If you could go research it on the internet and find out in five minutes, it's probably not a good answer. When you're discussing your experience shadowing or working with PAs, you should be telling stories. The more stories and examples that you use, the better. It makes you more memorable, it gives your answers more credibility, and it makes you stand out. Anyone can go look up the PA profession and tell you it's a great thing, tell you a little bit about it, but until you've seen it firsthand and had those personal connections and those personal feelings associated with why this makes you so excited and why it's something that you've worked so, so hard for and pursued so, so much, it just... It, it makes such a difference in your answer when you actually use those experiences. When you're thinking about your answers, using stories and examples, but also doing something that I call bringing it full circle. You want your answers, again, to relate back to PA school being a PA. That's the main thing. If you're telling a story, they don't really just want to hear your story. They want to know why it's relevant and why it's important. So why does this one specific instance going to make you a better PA student or a better PA? So just think about that when you're saying your answers and again, try to make them as complete as possible. I think we're at number four. Um, At your interview, be positive, avoid all negativity. You shouldn't be putting down other professions. You shouldn't be dwelling on any red flags or discrepancies. You really need to focus on only the positive parts of your application and what you bring to the table. And if there is a red flag, let's say a bad grade, you want to turn that into a positive. Talk about what you got out of it and how you improved from it and how that makes you an even better candidate than making excuses or kind of trying to beat around the bush. Own up to it. Just be direct and go from there. As far as negativity, I mean, you, like I said, don't want to put down any other professions, PAs. I mean, it's just a different role. It's not necessarily better than doctors or nurse practitioners, but you just want to um, smile, be positive, be confident. Okay, I think we're at number five now. Interact with your fellow applicants. This is something I saw at my own interviews that I thought was really weird. Some people would not really talk to anyone else, but so much of being a PA and being a PA student is being a great classmate and working as part of a team. So you want to show that you are able to get along with others and make friends. And some of these other applicants, even though you're competition, may be your classmates. And so you don't wanna burn bridges there. And just know that the admissions committee, they're watching the entire time and they're watching to see how you interact with others, especially during group activities and panel interviews. So I hope that gives you a little insight. And again, thanks to Donna for having me. If you want your own copy of the PA School Interview Guide, you can get it on Amazon or on www.thepaplatform.com. And feel free to email me any questions or um, reach out on Instagram, whatever. But thanks, Adana. All right. Thank you so much, Savannah, for sharing those tips. Guys, be sure to go to the description box and um, hit that link if you really want to get a copy of this book and use the code Adana. To get your 10% off. Um, And also, if you want to enter into the giveaway to get your free copy of the book, go on over to my Instagram page, at PA, and you can enter the Instagram giveaway there. Um, The details will be under the picture of me and the book. And I want to just encourage you guys to just continue to do your research, get all the different resources that you can possibly get to make sure that you kill your PA school interview. Also, if you don't know about this feature, you can always go onto my search bar and type in interview for more PA school interview tips and all of my videos with that information will pop up. So be sure to do that if you want any more information that you haven't received in this video thus far. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any further questions, um, please leave them in the comments section below and uh, if you have any further um, actual like videos that you'd like me to do go ahead and leave those as well I cannot wait to talk to you guys next time I'll see you later